Hi, my name is Brianna Code, lead programmer on Child of Light, and I'm very proud to give you more details about the game we're currently making. Child of Light is a turn-based RPG set in the magical world of Lemuria. It is developed at Ubisoft Montreal using the UbiArt framework engine. In this demo, Aurora and Aniculus are searching for the Tower of the Moon when they come upon a strange village. The village is inhabited only by crows, and the goal of our quest will be to understand why. The exploration in Child of Light works like in any classic side-scrolling game, except for the fact that you'll be able to fly. You'll see a little later how this mechanic is really important. The inhabitants of this particular village are called the Capilli. They are a bearded race of healers who enjoy smoking mint out of long pipes. As you can see, the dialogue is written in rhyme, as the game is intended to be a playable poem. You're free to accept or turn down the quest Finn asks of you, and the choice you make will impact your journey. Since the game is also an RPG, you are able to explore inside the houses to find oculi to power up your characters. Each oculi has a special effect on your character. You will also be able to combine them to make an oculi more powerful. Let's go now into the well that seems to be the source of the crow spell. During exploration, the second character has the power to blind enemies, which allows you to avoid them and continue exploring if you're not ready to fight. He is also able to look for hidden chests in the environment. However, each time an enemy will be able to reach you, you will enter into the fight stage. Here is how our fighting mechanic works. All the characters are displayed on the timeline at the bottom of the screen. You can choose to act when each character reaches the cast zone. Each action has a different cast time linked to its power. You have to think strategically, because if you are attacked while casting, your action will be cancelled and you will need to wait another turn. The second player can help you by slowing down your enemies or healing your allies. Each time you level up, you earn a skill point that you will be able to use in the skill tree. You can specialize Aurora or her allies in fire magic if you want, but be careful because each enemy has different weaknesses and some of them are resistant to fire spells. You can also leave a light message for your friends online if you would like to give them a hint about the environment. Another component of our game is puzzles. This requires a different set of skills from the player. Here, we need to match the symbols from the pedestals to those on the wall. The player must use Aniculus's light to open the door. His light skill is not unlimited, but you can always fill his energy bar with those glowing flowers you find in the environment. Aniculus will also be very useful during exploration as he can help you avoid some traps. Here is another message from a friend who is warning us about what's coming next. We've reached the end of the demo. We're very excited to be able to show off the game and hope to let you play it very soon. Thank you for joining us.